What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp Extrude Tools tutorial for you. So in today's video we're going to check out one of the tools in Extrude Tools that allows you to extrude edges along a curve. Before we get started, today's video is brought to you by the SketchUp Essentials course. The SketchUp Essentials course is a course that I created to give you a start to finish training in SketchUp. So if that's something you're interested in, you want to take your SketchUp training to the next level, make sure you check it out at the SketchUpEssentials.com slash course. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so in this video, we're gonna go through the next tool in extrusion tools, and I will link to extrusion tools in the notes down below, as well as the rest of the tutorials in this playlist where we talk about all the different tools contained inside extrusion tools. Um, so in this video, we're gonna talk about extrude edges by lathe. What extrude edges by lathe does is it allows us to take edges and extrude them along a curve. So kind of like using the follow me tool to extrude a face along an arc, but then one of the nice things about this is it doesn't have to be a face. So in in this case, for example, this is a polyline that I've created, so two different arcs, we'll talk about that in a second. But if I take this and I run extrude edges by lathe, then I can set a center point and I can extrude this along an arc. And the nice thing about this is I'm able to do this without having to draw in any kind of a circle or a curve or anything like that. And the other nice thing about this is I can also type in values for the number of degrees that I want to extrude this along. So I could extrude this 270 degrees all the way up to 360 degrees. So you can use this to create extrusions without ever having to draw a path that these go along. So that can be a pretty big time saver. And so um, whenever you have this set the way that you want. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to double click in order to create my shape. It's going to ask me a few questions. And these are very similar to the questions that have been asked in the other tools in this tool set. So things like remove coplanar edges, that's going to remove all that extra geometry that's in here. It's going to ask if I want to reverse the faces. The answer is no. It'll also ask if I want to smooth all of these edges inside this shape. So if I say yes, all of that geometry in here gets smooth and you just get this smooth face and set. Then the final thing is it's going to ask if I want to explode the group and I'm going to say no. And there we go. So you can see how that's really easy to create something like this. So one thing I do want to point out about this is it's only going to work on polylines. I mean, it'll work, but you can see how, like for example, this arc that I've drawn is actually a pair of different arcs. You can see how as I click on each one of them, these are different lines. Well, if I select them both and then try to run this tool in kind of the same way that we did before, you can see how it's only going to extrude the first half of this arc because this isn't considered a polyline or a single line, so it's only picking up the first edge that I selected. So if I hit escape though, and I go in and I use the extension weld, so you can see how right now these are two separate edges, but if I select them both, use the extension weld, which I will link to in the notes down below, that'll make this into a polyline. You can see how once this gets made into a polyline, then I can extrude it the way that I wanted to. So. That's one thing to know is if you have edges or you have shapes with a whole bunch of different edges in here, um, you need to make sure to weld those into a single polyline in order for this to pick up your whole curve when it's doing your extrusion. So this works for all kinds of different shapes and you can also use this to extrude along different axes. So like for example, let's say that I have two copies of this curve right here. You're going to get dramatically different results if you spin this along the blue axis, and we'll go ahead and we'll just call this 90 degrees for right now. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and um, create this shape. So you can see how if I extrude this along the blue axis, it's gonna spin it this way. But if I extrude it along the green axis, for example, or the red axis, it's going to extrude it this other way. So this gives you a lot of control over what you can create um, with this extension. So another thing that you can do with this extension is you can take it and when you set up your lathe point, so like for example if we take this edge and we set it up to lathe and we set our axis like this, you can see how it's going to spin this along that, uh, that green axis. You can see how when it does that, initially if you just type in an angle, um, then uh, it's just going to extrude that along that, that angle. But if you want to do something a little bit more visual, you can type in a value of zero and hit the enter key. But when you do that, then it gives you this kind of like, uh, almost like a protractor, and it lets you kind of set your extrusion like this, 
just by moving this along. And uh, there's a few different interesting things you can do with this. Like for example, if you move your mouse around here to 180 degrees um, or greater than 180 degrees, you can see how it's not letting you do that. But if you hold the Alt key, then this will let you move this along that angle greater than 180 degrees. So you can visually set, um, you can visually set the edges inside of this extrusion um, using this tool as well just by typing that typing a value of zero so and if you hold the shift key then it'll let you uh, do this counterclockwise as opposed to clockwise so you can also adjust the direction that this extrusion goes so the other thing that you may find valuable when working this extension is if you take this point and you draw it out like this you'll notice that right now this is um, this is defaulting to a certain number of edges inside this extrusion or a certain number of um, basically the arc that it's extruding this along has a certain number of segments so in this case this is I think it's nine one but if you were to type in a different value you can actually adjust the number of segments in here by typing an s after your value so like for example if instead of a, this being nine segments in here I wanted it to be smoother I could type in 18 and the s key and hit enter you can see how that's going to adjust the number of segments it's created in here. So you can adjust both the number of degrees. So if I type in 360 and hit the enter key, this will do that. And then I can type in a number of segments. So in this case, if I type in 32 and then S, that's going to create 32 segments in here. Or if I do like 96 S, it's going to create 96 segments. So you can actually control the amount of geometry that's created in here using this tool as well. So if I double click, then we're going to do the same thing where we can remove the coplanar edges, reverse our faces. In this case, I am not going to smooth the edges and I'm not going to explode the group. So you can see how this allows you to create a whole bunch of different shapes um, and, and a lot more, um, it gives you a lot more flexibility than the built-in follow me tool does. And one last thing to note is this doesn't just work on edges, it also works on faces. So like for example, if I had this kind of L-shaped face, um, then I could create a 360 degree extrusion just like I would with the follow me tool using this tool. So same thing over here. You can see how I can use this as a face. So you can see how I can use this to extrude faces as well as edges. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Was this interesting to you? Have you been using extrude tools? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks. Thanks, guys.